welcome back um we're currently working on or about to start working on the miata i just got back from a trip i was on and took a rest for a day uh but now we are back at the unit uh i just currently turned her on let her heat cycle real quick up to temperature before i pull our or pull her all apart and make sure everything still running okay make sure the um make sure it just like the heat cycle every once in a while if it's sitting um we're gonna start today by pulling all the intake stuff out like right in front. this intake um just the whole box we're gonna try to be getting to all the um belts and seals underneath i got a whole bunch of seals from 5x racing oem ones to do the front like regasket kit for the lower main or the front main sorry cam seals or valve cover gasket even though i just did that not that long ago um belts just stuff like that for rebuild i also ordered a clutch so we'll be doing rear main uh clutch while it's in here and everything like that so we're just basically doing like a little miniature refresh um as she sits so yeah we're just basically going to be pulling all this stuff off just getting prepared maybe going underneath and start loosening some bolts or figuring out what i need to take out to get the trans out so yeah okay so we got the intake out so far we're unplugging stuff so we got these two plugs right here and right here out of the intake um not sure honestly what this shit is i'm just trying to like make a mental note and a video note um we're unplugging whatever the hell this shit is i think this is for the ac or something that clip tiny clip down there um we're gonna take the bolt out of this bracket so we can just move all this stuff out of the way and then move the whole harness out of the way um so i can take the vvt solenoid and oil tube off so i can pop the um valve cover out and everything else out so uh yeah we're just gonna start removing shit again um yeah let's get her going okay so we got uh most of this harness from the intake side removed we got it unplugged from the harness below here um, I don't exactly know where this bracket was hanging from, but uh, I'll figure that out and put it back. We're just recording it so I remember that. So we're going to put this up here so we know it stays. And we're just moving all this stuff out of the way. We're moving to the front of the engine now. Um, I popped the bolt off of this bracket right in here. And now I'm just going to try to figure out exactly how the rest of this pops off. Um, It looks like I can kind of just unplug it and move it out of the way, but there might be another bolt somewhere that's holding it on. Jack, that's your phone. Hold it. Uh, so hard to tell. Top okay, so we got the other bolt out of the bottom of the bracket, as you can see. It's kind of freely moving around now. Um, those wires are still like underneath the intake, so um, I kind of had to take the intake off to move them out of the way, but it's kind of, I think, fine for now. I can kind of just pull them out of the way as much as I needed. I can get to everything else. Um, so yeah, that's all unplugged. I'll move it out of the way, which is good. Um, I think now we're just gonna go on to pulling stuff off of the valve cover so we can get everything off and ready to be pulled apart. Yeah. All right, so we got the coil packs unscrewed, as you can see. Uh, now we're just left down to the plug wires that go to the spark plugs, as you know. Um, we're just gonna pop them right out. They come out pretty easily, usually. So I don't have any paper here, so I'll bring some the next time I come, but I'm gonna lay them in order and keep like a note on video of which way they go. But I will label them the next time I come just so I don't forget. But uh, these ones, I always just try to be careful with since it's connected, but they usually come right out pretty easily. See, sometimes that happens, which is okay, because like technically all that can stay in there. You can get a pair of pliers and pull the rest of the tube out 
with it. Um, so don't let that scare you if it happens. You don't even have to or have to technically take that out. You can leave that in there uh, if you were just doing like a valve cover or something, pretty simply. Um, so don't let that startle you or anything that happened to me. Uh, car still runs fine. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna pop off this tube and the rest of the bolts and stuff that are holding on to that stuff back there. So I'm pulling off the valve cover. I only got a few more bolts on this side and then it'll come off. Welcome back. We are um, at the unit once again with the red car. Um, we are continuing uh, installing the seals. We are taking off the valve cover as you saw either in the last clip or last video. Um, we have a little bit more to go. We just got some shop towels and some bags to put the bolts in. Um, so we're going to take that the rest of the way off. We're going to take the belt off, the pulleys off. Probably get all the way down to the seal. Uh, might take the seal out, I don't know yet. Um, probably not today, because I also want to do the coilovers on the black car, which I'll probably record as well, but that might be its own little special video, um, which I hope you guys will like. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna continue on doing this and see how far we can get until we're ready to leave uh, to go do the other thing. Let's go. Okay, so as you guys can see, valve cover's almost all the way off. I got all the bolts out all the way around. Um, we're taking the bolts out for the uh, VVT oil line. Uh, we gotta take a couple more out to pull that up and out of the way. And then we can pull this thing right off. We have somewhere uh, to set it underneath the car and then we're gonna cover it with towels so it's all good. So let's get it going. We're just gonna record like throughout. I'll probably edit it down, stuff like that. Okay, so we're about to pull off the valve cover. I think we got all the bolts out of the way. Um, hopefully this line is far enough untied so we can pull it up. What the fuck was that? I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Oh, fucking damn it. I broke that. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. All right. So we got it off. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay. So it's been a little bit since I've recorded. Um, I went ahead and took the accessory belt off. Uh, we just undid this tensioner and everything. Pulled this belt off. Um, I put these back in here so I remember where they go. Don't forget about them. So all these are free spinning now. Um, at least these two pulleys are. Now I got to get the actual uh drive belt or whatever the hell it's called out um which the tension looks like it's over there so i gotta figure out exactly how to get that off um but yeah i'll be right back when we do get that so we're almost down to it after that we just gotta pull, pull the pulleys off um and hopefully we'll be good to go we gotta pull these off too for the cam seals as you can see you can see like a little liquid building up in there and you see it's shiny clearly the cam seals are leaking so we'll get this fixed front main will get fixed and then we'll be good to go okay. so unfortunately uh we had to take i should have done more research but the water pump pulley had to be broken loose with the belt on so we put the belt back on broke it loose so we're about to take that back off and then we'll be able to keep going um we got to get this pump pulley off Water pump pulley off to get this uh, plastic guard off, I'm guessing, so we can get to the tensioner behind the belt so we can get this uh, the timing belt off and so we can get the crank pulley down there off to do the lower main. So we got Jack fucking with the tensioner again and then we'll be good to go. Ethan's also here working on his shit. What's up? <laughs> He's doing the exact same shit that we're doing on his NA, so uh, yeah, we're just trying to stop them leaks. <laughs> the water pump pulley off, we're gonna try to see what we can do about the crank pulley. Let's get it. All right, so going back and editing this now, um, I realized that the video kind of just had an abrupt ending, um, but that's all good. Uh, so I basically got, I'm pretty far along um, as of right now, these videos have kind of been just stacking up 
uh, over time. As you guys know, I upload weekly. Um, so I have like videos stacked up. So uh, this video kind of just stopped abruptly because I don't want to like really continue it because the next time I did another intro and the video is already kind of getting along as it is. So yeah, um, this is the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like or anything like that. Comment, tell me, let me know. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.